Hi, I'm Fran Fraschella, and this is one of a series of video blogs I'll be putting out on YouTube the next couple months to talk about basketball. I've just returned from the Euro Camp in Treviso, Italy, where I got a chance to coach and evaluate some of the best young talent internationally. A few of those guys may wind up in the NBA. In the last seven or eight years at the Euro Camp, we've had guys like Goran Dragic from the Phoenix Suns, Nicholas Batum from the Blazers, Serge Ibaka, a rising young star for the Oklahoma City Thunder, Danilo Gallinari from the Knicks, Andrea Bargnani from uh, the Toronto Raptors. So it's really a great camp for all 30 NBA teams to be at, evaluate the young players, and I get a chance to evaluate the players as well for ESPN. Now this particular season is going to be a little bit slower year for Euros and international players in the NBA draft because some very good players have elected to not put their name in and wait another year. You'll hear names next year like Jan Vesely, a 6'11 forward from the Czech Republic who should be a top 10 pick. Uh, Donatus Montiunis, a 7-foot, 19-year-old center from Lithuania, who's also chosen to delay his uh, entry into the NBA draft another season. And, of course, a, a young guy that's going to be in college next year, Ennis Cantor, a 6'11", Carl Malone type from Turkey, who will play at the University of Kentucky this coming year. Let's just go over the Euro camp and maybe let you know about some guys that you might see uh, on June 24th called their name by... Uh, by David Stern in the first round. Again, it's going to be a slower year, but Kevin Serafin, a 6'9 power forward from France who did not play at the camp but showed up and got measured, uh, has a real good chance to be a first round pick. Uh, some of the stars of the camp, uh, Thomas Hurdle, uh, a 6'3 guard from France, um, is a guy that if he's not in this year's draft, he certainly will be a factor next year. Very good guard and if you think of France in the last couple of years you think of uh, Nick Batum as I mentioned earlier from the Blazers and last year the Mavericks uh, Roderick Beaubois who's an exciting young guard so keep your eye on Thomas Hurdle as well as Edwin Jackson who is a scoring guard for uh, uh, for France who uh, may or may not be in this draft but you may hear about him next year very streaky score but an outstanding talent uh, some guys going forward uh, in the next couple of years. Thomas, Thomas Sataransky, who's from the Czech Republic and uh, is a 6'7 guard who will play this coming year in Spain, only 19 years old. Remember that name. So uh, keep an eye on some of these guys. Again, it's a slow year for Euros in the uh, NBA draft, but uh, there's a lot of promising young players uh, coming out uh, of Europe and internationally the next two or three years. So don't let anybody tell you the talent level has dropped off. More importantly, a lot of these players are deciding to stay in Europe a little bit longer. They get paid very well. They play at a high level. In some cases, in Italy, Spain, and Greece, it's a higher level than any conference in college basketball, including the ACC and the Big East, Big Ten. So they get a chance to make money, stay overseas, develop their game. But a number of these guys, we're going to see them in the NBA and in the NBA draft in the coming years.